everybody, welcome back to Vintage Story, episode 46 with me, Sid, where we are experiencing what can only be described as Bearmageddon. I was going to say Bearmageddon, but that doesn't really work the same. Um, yeah, so last episode, we spent a considerable amount of time preparing our area over here. For our new sheepsers, who uh, is ready to mate. Uh, I don't know if I've got any more of this left. Can I? I've got enough in there. No, not enough for that. Um, and we finally managed to capture a big horn ram who is definitely not ready to mate. He's, he's you know, feeling quite traumatised, as am I, because a bloody great big old brown bear spawned. Um, not a black bear, this was a big old grizzly. Uh, it was massive. And uh, I used what two arrows that I had to shoot it a little bit, and uh, he... He ran off in this direction. Now this is probably an exercise in stupidity. But there's no doubt about it. It is most definitely an exercise in stupidity. I'm not going to continue doing that. Um, yeah. Now reading the uh, online comments on the Vintage Story forum, on Reddit, I think it is fairly safe to say that the bears are not a popular addition to Vintage Story. Um, to the point where, I, I mean, there are people saying, are bears toxic to the point of destroying the game you know which I think is probably a little bit strong but um, I'm just going to eat that one there you go uh, I don't think I have got oh, I've got some food food haven't I that will do me however bears are here we're kind of stuck with them mainly because I can't figure out how to turn the damn things off um, it doesn't appear here that I mean there are commands that you can use that will allow you to for example see the uh, number of bears you can actually get rid of the bears but beyond that we are somewhat stuffed we're the capital stuff um now reading again bears can apparently jump up to three blocks tall so even this thing we've done over here with the two block tall moat may not quite be enough to help us and They can't jump over walls, even two or three tall walls, but they can reach through them and pull the animals out, apparently. So, I have no idea whether this this is enough or not. I am, I am to be honest, in fact, let's, let's not even go with the temptation. Let's submit to the temptation. Let us take because I can always use the rock anyway so it's not like having a three deep hole will hurt and uh, maybe just maybe this will give us what we need to keep our sheep as alive now I also need pigs I also need chickens I'm very reluctant to go to any effort of capturing pigs while um, you know, there are creatures out here which will think of them as nothing more than a crunchy, handy little prepackaged snack. 
if I've got this wrong. So definitely that to consider. Um, but I do need to get out and find some chickens. I don't want to kill all of the chickens in the area because it's been pointed out in the comments. If I do that, it's going to make life really difficult. So I do need probably to go further afield for my chucky egg of goodness. And, uh, and then for the ones that are closer by, maybe try and build them some kind of hen house where I can go down, lay down feed, get them to breed and uh, perhaps address the problem that way. I can't see any easy trick around this. So yeah, but the bears, bears are not popular. Uh, certainly not popular with me. <laughs> um, just because they add a level of complexity to survival, which I think is making... It's, it's not ideal. You know, at the end of the day, yes, this is a survival game. And it would be difficult to survive and yada yada, mogul, mogul, etc, etc. But... Um, it's also a game, and a game is something you play for fun. Uh, so there comes a point where reality is actually too much of a bummer. We know. Let's be honest, I have to face and live in reality every bloody day. I don't want to have to play a game. You can imagine playing your, your own life as a video game. It would... Well, I mean, I suppose for some people it would be uh, great, but... You know, for most of us, you know, Work Simulator 2000. Yeah, no, thank you. Um, <laughs> we play games to escape. So, yeah. Let's just take this down to a third level. I am going to have to start playing the game with my eyes on stalks. I think that is a given. And uh, apparently... Another thing that was suggested to me, which was I should have just thrown stones at them and animals to uh, to get them to, you know, follow me and chase me. And that is maybe, but I didn't. Okay. Let's get some of that in there. Make sure that's all nicely filled. Keep you to hand. Yeah, so I should have just gone like that. Um, so that is bears. <laughs> that is what we're stuck with. And right now, um, apparently... This may or may not work, depending on whether they can actually jump over. See, they can't get out there. That was, they got snagged up on that. So if the bear does reappear, I definitely need to assess how how we're going to do this and I think the obvious way is to make it like we did for the sheep so they they go up another block and then off, off the edge and I think it's getting dark so that is something we need to keep in our mind um, What time is it? 4.30. Shouldn't be dark this early. Maybe it's... Uh, oh, it's raining, that's why. Andy V. Um, let's just, while we're over this way, go and have a look at our pumpkins. Which is still... Oh, we've got... We've got our first pumpkin. This is not long out after... Out long after Halloween, in fact, this will be out 
No, 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 ignore me. Uh, so I'm recording one, some series a bit out of sync. This is not Halloween yet. This is on the, out on the 26th, so uh, not even out on the Halloween yet. Right, I need to sort myself out some food. I need to decide what I'm going to do next. If I'm going to put a pig pen in, I'll probably put it next to this. Fill in the moat and extend the moat to come around. Um, but that's a decision to make later. And while I'm at it, I did bring a couple of those. Let's, let's go with that. That's probably enough. Let's go and find and cook ourselves some food up and uh, try to put bears out of my head. I'm not going to bank anything on that actually being a plan that works, but um, yeah, I need to cook some food up, so I'll be back in a moment. Alright, so the other problem I need to sort out is what I do about temporal storms because it looks, again, I can't find any documentary evidence to the, uh, the to this effect, but it looks to me like temporal storms have been, or at least the various tricks for temporal storms have been nerfed. Now, if I place you on an edge like that, I can make myself a little bit of a, a board. Now the question is, can I, let me just borrow, I don't really, let me just borrow a bit of you. Can I place things like that and then take those out? I can. Which means in theory, I don't know whether anything can spawn on these. That's the first question. But if I were... Hmm... Let me just borrow a few more plankage. Uh, if I take 12, that will make me, I think, enough. I also need... How am I for... Well, anything that I can actually use to make ropes with. Uh, that. Now, you make me... See that? I'm trying to remember the. Certainly that wasn't certainly the recipe. I, I don't know what I'm. Ah, I do not know what I'm doing now. Let's have a look at an each on that. That is rope. You just used six of them in a simple grid like that makes rope, and I need those with. I think it was like that. Uh, to make three so I need six of those so basically all of the reeds I have and that that gives me enough rope ladder let me make another two that should be enough to start off with Okay, now, my suspicion, I'm just going to chip, quick bear patrol, my suspicion about this entire situation still on quick bear patrol. Now this is going to become quite painful if I have to come out and do a full on bear patrol every morning before I decide whether I'm going to back off. Just well, you got plenty of food, okay, that's fine. 
Um, so my suspicion is that the actual thing spawned on the roof and walked off. I don't know how it spawned on the roof because as my understanding of the rules of this game are such that um, it should not have been able to. So here is the question and I need to if I uh, oh, damn it Okay, how do I do it? I'm doing this like that, and that got me up. And then we could hop up here quite comfortably, like this. And I pull all of that back up with me. And of course, at this point, I am super duper secure and safe. That's the theory. However, the practice. <sighs> Shift is not crouch. <sighs> Control is crouch. The practice is let's try that again. That that did not actually work like that for me. I don't know why. But if I were to chop that out, didn't get it, but that's fine. And I were to place you at the bottom, so you come up like that. And then dig you out. Air Patrol. And down we go. We right. First question: Can I actually place rope ladder on that? I don't know the answer, by the way. And the big old answer to that is a big fat no. Okay. Well, that didn't help then, did it? Mm. Now, if I suppose if I had... That on there... Because it doesn't matter if, if something spawns on there. That really doesn't bother me at all. And we hop, hop the ladder, we go in through here, and then we rack that up, and nothing can spawn there. And then on this side, one, two, three, four, I definitely need to craft another set of those. Lovely. And then we just come along with good old dirt. We chop out these, which will come in handy anyway, I think. And again, I have no idea if this is going to work or not. No, that won't definitely won't work there. Uh, luckily, I've got a spare. And and then take those out like that. And now I've got a 
a walkway which in theory may or may not be spawnable. And then we just grab all oh, if I can get myself out. Ah. Just grab all of the blocks that have fallen down neatly. Think that's them all. So again, go back up, and then I need to address what I think are two other problems. Uh, leave that there for now. So I think, and I don't think I've got enough slabs to do this, but uh, no, I think these need to become solid blocks. Do they? I don't know actually. I mean what I'm actually thinking is this. We fill the space in in such a way I'm going to guess. I mean presumably they need too high. So if I just hid from the world like this when there was a a thing, there's there's two opportunity two things that could happen here. One is that they could spawn in here with me and beat nine bells of crap out of me. That's that's a first option. I don't really need to pull all of those out, do I? I just need these out. I mean, what we could do, for example, is those are definitely not spawnable if I do that. So, question, if I were to bring this up to solid blocks and then go up a little bit so I've got one, would it stop them? I genuinely don't know the answer to that. Um, however, let's find out. I'm going to go and grab a few more wood blocks and continue trying to make my temporal storm base a little bit more secure I suppose. What is that wood anyway? That is pine. Okay. Let's see what I've got. Back in a second. Something I really need to make is a new saw. That's only got 13 durability left on it, so that's probably something to do this oops, this episode. And uh, whether I go with, you know, bronze or not, because the saw is such a useful thing. How are you doing? Pretty good. I think quite a lot of our crops are probably getting closer to harvest. Five of eight, five of seven, not a huge amount in there, but obviously there's not as many crops come with a requirement of P. Those are ready but stunted, those are not ready but stunted, those are nowhere near ready, neither are those. But heat is a problem, which is interesting. What's the temperature at the moment? Outside 11 degrees. Oh, I thought it was that. That's serious a problem. But oh well. Let's continue. I suppose one thing. Just thinking back, harking back, harping back to the bears. What would actually be useful is if there was some kind of log palisade fence you could make. That was a little more economic on carrots are mature as well um, a little bit more economic on the wood because putting a log palisade around this entire farm area is well a considerable undertaking I think is a fair way of describing that 
Anyway, I have got you. Those should make me solid blocks, which I can put down like a so. And again, we'll, we'll make this look nice. I'm just going to go with solid blocks and that. And that. And I think that will be perfectly safe. <clears throat> yeah, famous last words. But again, let's let's not be off put. Uh, I could actually go with a door as well and put that on the inside. Uh, we will probably have to go down and pick up those slabs before we finish this one off. But um, you know that that could. Be an option right let me just continue working this out and I'll be back in a bit all right I think that's it we're going to leave the the rope ladders in place ready um, I've got this which may or may not be spawnable who knows uh, this is definitely spawnable but there is a door there this is spawnable but there is a Door. these shouldn't be this all shouldn't be but I'm going to leave enough dirt in the chest down there to when you come in you fall off oh I've actually got enough dirt so we've got dirt in there let's see what happens um, what I may do, and I'm still, this is a consideration, I've got two whole pumpkins now, woohoo, um, this is not a modded series, I've not included any mods in this playthrough, I am tempted to, I'm, I'm, I'm in tempted, I am tempted, oh, this, this is not looking good, that shouldn't be withered. If I only get two off of this, then I will be very disappointed. Uh, I am tempted to add the player corpse mod, which leaves a skeleton with all your gear on it, so we don't end up with a despawning situation, much like we did last time. But, um, right, I need to eat, that's a, that's a given because my food bar is way down. Uh, I actually do need to do some baking and actually make, I think, some... Uh, some bread, probably. Um, pies might not be a bad idea, but yeah, we'll give you some... We'll give you some snap. How are you? You are... Pregnant. I want, I want to know what the other one's like. Come on, oh, she's coming over a little bit closer. I want to know whether sheep are mog monogamistic in. No. In vintage story. No, they they get it on with anything. That's good. <laughs> I mean, they shouldn't be. Yeah, realistically speaking. Um, Cheap, not well known for their uh, their strong moral values, I suppose. Still no sign of the bear. I shouldn't complain. Should not complain about that. That is a very strange thing to complain about. Now I have copper chain. Copper, I've got silver. Plenty of copper. Crush with a hammer, yeah. Loads of copper. I don't have much in the way of bronze. I mean, I've got a little bit of bone to sift, which could be an option. I also, as I said, need to um, make make my um, some bread and. You know, basically just improve my food situation just a wee bit. But I also do need to sort myself out a new saw. Um, 
the saw is one of those things that is probably going to last and be useful for a lot longer than you would, you know, give credit. So perhaps we should be considering that. I'm definitely keeping stones on me from now on though. That can go away. Keep hold of those. Yep, I'm going to make some bread. I'm going to um, get on and what should we go for? Rice bread? No, rye or spelt. Let me take the rye. Um, let me think. That is, oh, it's not you, it's H, isn't it? Grinds into rice. One makes one flour, which makes one makes one, one dough and uh, okay so probably let's do 32's worth will they stack together perhaps spelt oh yeah, okay don't know why they're stacking together so well but I'm not going to complain right bread baking commence back in a bit all right, it is the morning. I made myself a little bit of bread and I also made myself a pie because, you know, everybody loves pie. And, uh, oh, hang on. Do I need to attack pie with Kniff? Probably. There we go. We've got plenty of pie to go around. Right. So, yeah, it's just a veg pie. I even put some pumpkin in now. There is no way you would get me doing that in real life. I can't stand pumpkin. But I need feathers. I don't really want to have to go and kill a whole bunch of chickens. Certainly not chickens that are in the area. Which leaves me with a couple of options. Until we get to test this... Um, oh, bear with me, that's my phone. Sorry about that, got called for uh, dinner. And uh, I am now doing what is called... Somebody wants to go out, but she's not going out because we've got Grandfur Baby over and they don't get on. So the two cats are not good friends by any stretch yeah the vintage story walk the the over exaggerated careful walk to a position check around listen um yeah that's actually no there's nothing in there in the vintage story that sounds that quite that cute so no danger there but um I picked, because I think my berries are going to be... Now, what are you selling still? Four days, you're selling... Nothing I can actually afford. Nothing I really desperately want. Um, you're buying... Uh, flax bread, I could sell him. You need six. He wants six. Price is one gear. Does that mean he's he's buying them? Oh, he wants eight, six eights. So I could make flax bread. I've got four days, or I could go for spelt bread, which uh, which I just made. But that's the kind of a different thing. Could do charcoal. Never going to happen. And I could do tin ingots. Right, that's not helping me. Um, now I'm still absolutely terrified now after the after bears. They've really, they really have. Oh man, she's having a proper good old whinge. Um, it's only because she wants to go down and wind up her uh, her older nephew. Technically, because you know. She's, she's my little girl, which means that um, she's a sister to an uh, actual little girl. Uh, yeah, you know what it's like. You know what animal pet lovers are like when it comes to 
animals and uh, and their relationships with actual genuine family members and and in fact things that they're not in in fact in any way related to um yeah we're all mad it's uh it's part and parcel now none of this is helping me find feathers um so I don't know what to do. All right, I'll be back in a bit. Look what I found running around in a hole. A little bit. Probably may live to regret that, but um, a fox. Oops, hello had chased them in so looks like we're having chicken tonight as well as eight feathers which seems this is i've had this bugbear and i've had this conversation and this are this this discussion and as 14 is a better number um Um, Minecraft chickens have loads of feathers now to be fair for flights and stuff you're probably going to want the, the primaries of the wings you know and the tail feathers perhaps so yeah I can accept that you will probably have oh, five pieces of chicken as well so I'm making a pie chicken chicken, chicken pot pie um but in Minecraft, you'll often only get one or two feathers off them. Now, again, we've I've grumbled about this in Minecraft. Comments have come in in Minecraft, and they say, you know, when you're attacking an animal, for example, with a sword or um, any kind of edged weapon, um, there's a pretty good chance you're going to damage the hide, and that will make it so you don't get the leather off. Now, you see, whilst I can semi-agree with that there's also a pretty good chance that you will get some I mean even if you take a sheep if you if you stabbed it in one side and ruined that the, the leather in quotes you haven't ruined the entire piece of leather you just ruined the hide in a small portion now the reason I know how this works is because many years ago in a previous job one of my companies that i used to work with was um mulberry leatherware uh leatherware leather goods sorry so if you are familiar with mulberry leather goods then you clearly earn too much now um <laughs> actually yes but um they make handbags wallets laptop bags um organizers they can't use the word file effects because that was copyright but they make a whole range of um, leather goods and they boast that they will clad anything in leather including i've seen a i've seen a macbook cover had its uh, case replaced with a leather mulberry leather case uh, you two could have that for probably in the region of about twenty five thousand pounds um i've also seen stereos covered you know they 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 will do or have a go at virtually anything still no bears shouldn't grumble um but the way they cut their leather was actually quite innovative um what they actually did was i'm going to just pop those back in there good what they would do is they would uh, mark the leather so they use a special fluorescent pen which is you know special and fluorescent and in fact a pen and they would um yeah got plenty of those haven't I now let me make myself 18 copper arrows um they would then Oh, 
all the way around. Okay, apparently it matters. Um, what they would do is they'd scan the actual hide that was uh, marked, and they'd have these very, very qualified um, hide experts, for want of a, a better phrase, whose job would be quite simply to spot any blemishes on the leather from, um, you know, fly bites or anything like that. You can imagine the kind of stuff they're, they're doing. And then they would mark the blemishes on the leather and scan it. They'd say what they wanted to cut out of it. The computer program would work out the optimal placement with, with to get as much out of the leather as possible. And then they used an actual water, it was a pressure cutter, uh, cutter used as a water jet. Now it traditionally would use um, artificial ground diamond dust in the water to cut through steel, but they just didn't bother with the diamond dust and just used water to cut the leather. It was fascinating stuff. But you could literally obliterate a quarter of an animal and you still have usable leather. So just, just putting that out there, shall we say. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. These are the these are the game mechanics we work in, and I'd love to know where that bear went. Um, as long as it's not by walking and running into the damn thing, of course. What I did want to do is have a look in here. You're done. You have uh, got two point seven. You are done. There's another four. Now I really need to set my tanning going again. So I will do that. Um, and I think a chicken pot pie would not would not go amiss. Uh, I only need four, four flour for that. So, uh, we've got you. I need to, yeah, 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 okay. Uh, four flour, four, two for the base, two for the top. And then I need, let's have... Oh, let's have a couple of parsnips in there. We'll have one, two, three, four chicken. I can't remember whether it's four or five items we put in there, but we'll we'll definitely have a couple of onions and maybe just a couple of bits of turnip if we've got room. Right, let's go. Now here's a question actually. Given that we know he's buying bread rolls, should I make the flax version? I should have plenty. I have. 64 will make me a lot of flax bread. And that is kind of, I think, a good idea. Yeah, 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 we'll do that. Okay, I am going to process well first things first i'm just going to set myself my uh, tanning strong tanning going because i need five of those and all of that stuff and i'll be back in a second once i've cooked a whole load of um flax bread and we'll try and make some more gears out of this guy i th i think uh right you yeah back in the mouth all right, we're just waiting on these last four. I also um, could not put the chicken. You can't mix. You can't have a meat and veg pie, which is stupid. <laughs> because steak and, uh, ale, steak and ale pie, you know, with potatoes and carrots is just like the um, thing. As is chicken. Chicken pot pie, you know. You put potatoes in, you put turnip, you put all sorts of stuff in. You don't bloody sit there faffing around only making a meat pie you you mix anyway what I was curious about is whether I can put that pie in my cellar because the pie has got a seven and a half day shelf life will you hmm. you're fresh for 29 days down here I mean admittedly uh, not on an ideal surface but you know that's fine um or I'll leave you down there for now I don't need that because I've got a big old pile of hoofers and uh, 
I got a trader to go and see, but uh, before I go anywhere, we need to do bear patrol. Because bears are bad news, literally. The bad news bears. That goes without saying. I'm also very curious, so I just want to briefly check. I'm not so worried about my animals. They should, in theory, be okay. The parsnips are looking good. I'm at the wrong side to look at these, but um, flax is going nicely. Carrots are mature, so I do need to harvest all of those. I just want to see what, if any, we're, how we're doing. So. One, two, three, four, five, six. Really need at least two more to break even on this crop. But you know what? This is what it is. Right. We're off to see the trader and sell him some flax bread. And I didn't bring um Let me just go and get me money that I put in my case because I might want to purchase something. There's a very good possibility that I will want to purchase a bronze weapon. I would say a bronze sword, but of course swords are not a part of the uh, the thing now. So, and I also do want to just put away that leather, and I would like to take that leather and put it into soak. That's probably a good idea. Uh, we'll see you at the trader, but we're, we're probably drawing close to an episode on this one. Um, no sign of a temporal storm yet, he says. And I'll probably just literally as I go, oh, let's go finish up this episode. We'll, uh, oh, and that's doing its thing. We can't do anything with that because that needs a whole load of time. And then it will be uh, ready to put another whole load of time of logs in so all good fun good clean wholesome fun um you know what i need to think about for the next episode is what i want to do because the what we are we are in october so we are most definitely into the autumn months we're not going to get another crop of anything in um, so we're probably not going to get much in the way of berries out of anything. And I don't think, I'd be interested to know if I put fresh fruit in my, um, in the cellar, what kind of duration we get on it. But I don't think it's going to be particularly large. But still, let's see what we can do with bread trading. I could have made like, you know, six of each. I've actually got a little bit of the svelte bread. Oi! Come here. I want to sell you... Uh, Thirty-two. That will get me four. Plus those. That will get me all six. Gives me eleven gears. That is, I could get a. <coughs> hmm. Tin bronze bismuth is actually better. Tin bronze falx is there. Black bronze is apparently the best. Uh, I bought the coat last time, didn't I? I think. I would like to. I like to have a spare. So what we'll do is we'll put that back in the system. Um, in the meantime. Let us get ourselves back home and, uh, well, I will see you next time. I haven't even got a screenshot for this one. I haven't seen anything worthy of a, an awesome screenshot. But um, 
autumn is upon us we uh, we definitely have got some bear related fears now but look at that just look at that view now the trees are in it it really is starting to come in together so I think I need to probably start contemplating what to do about the vineyard also about pigs because I am going to have to do those at some point and I need to plan catching the pigs and housing the pigs in such a way as things now chickens chickens also are a major league issue I should just really harvest what if any berries are left there really aren't many are they I definitely get a feeling that that's the end of the berry crop for this year. A little bit of blueberry there. Yeah, I definitely get a feeling that's the end of the berries for this year. So uh, let's just go and down and have a look, see what happens if I stick them in my cellar. And then we'll, uh, we'll wrap up and next episode... Uh, we'll do something else. I'm not entirely sure what yet, to be honest. That, uh, that kind of goes without saying. So if I were to put in those and those and those in here. Twenty-one hours on those. I really do need to eat those up. And those will keep fresh for slightly longer. Okay, fine. We'll, we'll munch them down and do that. But on that note, thanks for watching. I will see you soon. And uh, hopefully within an episode or two, we'll get to test out our revised um, temporal storm tower. But until then, bye for now.